Hi, I'm Christine. Welcome to Adult DIY. Today we're going to be making a burlap heart wall hanging. Um, this will be a nice decoration that you can use for Valentine's Day or just whenever, whenever you like. Um, so in your kit you should have gotten um, some burlap, um, two sizes of a heart template, uh, template um, a bigger heart and a smaller heart. Um, you should have a container of Mod Podge, which is the container with the white glue in it. That's um, Mod Podge. And then another container with red paint. Um, you should have also gotten some, some yarn um, that you should have four pieces of yarn that are about three feet long. Um, and then also a paintbrush. Um, so you'll use the paintbrush for the Mod Podge and the paint. So you may um, you may also need some paper towels to clean the brush. Um, and then you will also need a marker and scissors. So those are not included in the kit. Um, oh, right, and a dowel rod. So that's the other the item that you need. Um, so I'm gonna go through the steps. Uh, to show you how to make this wall hanging. So first thing we want to cut out the hearts. Um, I would start with the large heart template. You're going to need to cut out nine hearts um, of each size. Um, I'm only going to do one heart of each. I've pre-made the, um, the other ones so because um, it would probably be boring for you to watch me do nine. Uh, but you will need to do nine big hearts and nine small hearts. So we'll just start off with the first heart um, make sure you um, are um, aware of of the burlap you're using you want to use as um, You you want to just make sure that you have enough uh, Space to cut out all the nine hearts. There should be enough burlap. You all should have about um a length that's about um, a foot and a half um, so you should have plenty of room but just you know make sure that you're putting the hearts you're spacing them out so you have a enough burlap to do the nine big hearts and the nine small hearts so that's why I like to start off with the the bigger heart so just to make sure that um, you're spacing it out correctly um, and I have picked a red marker you can use whatever marker um, whatever color you want marker is just easier with the burlap because it shows up and um, pencil or it, it's not it's not gonna work well so uh, a marker is the best thing that I have found to use um, all right so when you get your first large heart so basically when you're doing this at home just trace all nine hearts to make sure before you cut that you're spacing it out properly to get the um, the the nine hearts the nine hearts of each sizes. So just when I say properly, just like right next to each other, um, as close as possible together to make sure that you have enough room. Okay, so let's pretend I did nine big hearts, and then you're going to cut them out. Um, I'm gonna this way. You just cut along the line. Um, you can cut on the inside if you don't want inside of the marker if you you know don't want to see the marker on your heart. That's why I chose red because I don't mind seeing red in the heart. There's my big heart right there. Um, so I'm gonna put that to the side for now. And then I'm gonna trace the smaller heart. The smaller heart template is going to be very busy because um, we're also gonna use it um, to draw a heart um, for, the, for the red painted heart. So this heart is gonna go inside the big heart or on top of it. All right, so again, um, at home, make sure, just trace all of the hearts on the burlap before you cut. So you will also need nine um, small hearts. Put that out. I'm gonna go ahead and move that burlap out of my way. Okay. 
All right. Okay. So we've got one small heart, one big heart. I'm sorry, nine of each, <laughs> not one and one. All right. So then you're going to take your big heart. Um, if you want, you can put a newspaper or a paper towel or something. Um, the surface might just get a little messy, so just keep that in mind. Um, put the big heart down um, on, the, on the surface that you're going to use, and then take the small heart template and put it right in the middle there. And what we're going to do is take our red paint and the um, paintbrush, and we're going to trace this heart onto the burlap. You want it to be an outline of the small heart, and then the small burlap part is going to go over the red heart that we make. It will all make sense once we do it. Okay, so yeah, just trace it with the red paint. All right, then we're going to take the template away. And then you've got this nice little red heart there. And what I'm going to do is um, continue painting on the outside. So you're just going to go on the outside layer of the, of the outline. So just to extend the red, make it a little bit bigger. We want it to be bigger. Outside, you do not have to paint the middle. You can if you want. Um, but we want, it's going to be covered by the small burlap part. So that's why we just want... Um, right on the edges. All right. Just extending the red heart outline. So once that is done, the heart is done, then we can move that. That's where, where you want to clean your paintbrush because now it's going to be a Mod Podge brush. And then we're going to glue the little heart right in the middle of the red heart. Okay, and you can do that um, by either putting Mod Podge in the middle of the heart here or putting Mod Podge directly onto the, the heart that you're going to glue on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it that way. I don't need a whole lot of glue of the Mod Podge, just you know, a little bit in the center, a little bit on the top, and then you flip it over, um, and you just stick it into it, into the to the heart right in the middle. Now don't be alarmed because the Mod Podge is white so it looks like it's going to um, you know show up on your heart like a, a white mess of glue but it won't it will dry clear. That's always very scary working with Mod Podge because it looks like it's just gonna ruin your design but it dries clear so that's uh, something to keep in mind. All right, so here's our heart. You're gonna do this um, nine times. So you do that with all of the hearts and eventually, um, they're gonna, so here is my, um, my wall hanging. I can show it up, show it to you in the screen, the little screen, and then I'll put it on the, the work table screen. All right. Okay, I'm gonna get this out of the way because I don't need it anymore. All right, so we've got some burlap hearts. Um, and I've already glued them. As you can see, the Mod Podge has, has dried clear, so yay. Um, and basically, what you're gonna do now is glue the hearts to the yarn. Um, three pieces of the yarn are going to be uh, uh, tied onto the, to the dowel rod, and then the other one is going to be used as a, um, to hang it up. So I'm just gonna um, show you how to tie the um, the string, the, the yarn that you're going to glue the hearts to. So basically you just take the yarn and you fold it in half um, so it's even like this. So just fold it right in half, then you're just going to take it around the dowel rod like that 
um, the loop and then you swip, switch the, you put the other side through like that. And there you go. So I'll just do that one more time. Um, just take the loop and then fit the yarn through the loop. And then you've got this nice um, yarn string. So what we're gonna do is glue the hearts to the string. I have space um, on my um, project right here. So there's space, here let me move it so it's in the camera. Um, I have space right here. So it's, um, we just are going to put the glue on the back of the heart, just in a straight line like that. Uh, so let me get my paintbrush. All right, and you just put it right in the middle, just like that, and the um, it will stick to the yarn. And again, it will dry clear, so don't worry about it looking messy. All right, so I'm just going to take it and glue it onto the yarn. You want to just, you know, stick it. Your hands are going to get gluey. Um, and then what you want to do is just let it dry. Let it dry for a half hour um, to be safe. Um, and then you'll be able to uh, pick up the, I mean, it should stick pretty much right away, but just give it a little bit of time to really adhere to the yarn. Um, and then you'll be able to hang it up on the wall. Um, and oh, we do have to tie on the uh, the other yarn. So the fourth string, let me just untie mine real quick. The fourth string is going to be used. You're gonna tie it on, let me get this, let me adjust this, give me one second. Okay, so the fourth string, you see the, the three, um, three yarn that you're gonna glue um, the hearts too, you're just going to adhere just like that, and then you're going to take the fourth string of yarn, which I have dipped into my paint. Yay! Okay. <laughs> Set that off. Okay. And you're just going to tie a little um, knot like that, and just slip it right onto the edge of the dowel rod, and then the other side, slip, tie a little knot, and slip it onto the edge. And then there you go. You can just hang it up wherever you like. It's nice and light. Um, it is, uh, I recommend hanging it up against a wall just because, um, so you can see the, the front only. Uh oh. oh, my heart fell off. <laughs> That's why it's good to just let it be for um, about a half hour to let it adhere. But. How will look? Yeah, so if you hang it up against the wall, the, the hearts shouldn't flip over, and then you'll just see the, the front of it, if that makes sense. Um, okay. There you go. That's how you do it. Um, thank you for joining me today, um, virtually, through YouTube. Um, if you have any questions about how to uh, do the project, please email me at askref at onwoodparklibrary.org. That's the same email that you've received the video in. Um, if you, um, once you complete it, if you want to um, send a picture, that's always great. I love seeing um, the finished product. Um, our next, our next uh, program, it's uh, January 17th, and we'll be making um, clay mugs or um, sunshine mugs. So we're gonna be making a clay design and putting it on the mug. Um, so the mug is already made. Um, so that's what we'll be doing in, in um, February. I'm sorry, in February 17th, not January 17th. Um, 
yeah, and then keep an eye out for the next round of adult DIYs. The newsletter should be coming out sometime in February, and the next uh group will be uh, March, April, and May. So look out for the adult DIYs. They're going to be moving to Saturdays now, but we'll still have the same format where you can join us in person at the library or you can pick up your kit and just do it at home and you'll be sent a video just like this one. Um, so yeah, please, any questions, give us a call, email, um, and please send pictures. Thank you so much for joining and um, I'm so excited to see what you've come up with. Bye!